Excellence ZK La fondation des NT plus forte Parfumerie Stéphanie Napoulman Hi guys, my name is Sherif Anthony Mungai and I'm the coordinator for Upper Mama, Mama Elizabeth Children's Home. Uh, this is a place I've called home for the last 29 years, 28, 29 years old. And uh, it was founded by a lady by the name Mama Elizabeth uh, who passed on in December. She succumbed to cancer. And uh, she is one of the kindest persons I've ever met. And uh, this place, we have about 45 kids, depending on this place. And we also have others that we feed. So we feed more than 45 on a daily basis. We have 20 who are in high school, and we have about 18 in primary school. Then we have others who are not yet in school. And as you can see, the place really needs uh, assistance. It really needs your help. Because we need a better structure, because the one that we have is in a very poor state. Uh, her dream was to build a better place for the kids. And we are appealing uh, to Elwishas to come out in great numbers to assist us to make the dream come true. Because uh, once we have a better structure, we can be able to accommodate the, the kids comfortably. And we can also be able to register the home officially because uh, currently it's not officially registered because mom was, was doing it from the heart and she was doing it unofficially. Okay, how I came to find myself in this place, I lost my mom in 1993 and I lost her to HIV. By that time we didn't have ARVs and all that, uh, so she eventually succumbed. And uh, my mom and mom Elizabeth were friends. They used to be co-workers, they used to work at one place. But before she passed on, she left me with the responsibility. She handed the responsibility to me, and she was like, Mungai, I know, Nikikwachia wa Toto, they're in very safe hands. What you do, you should never give up, continue doing the work that I was doing. And uh, as long as they are with you, I'm ready to go home. By that time, I never understood what she meant by going home because I was like, hey, mom, the doctor has not even said that you can go home. Kumbe, she had other ideas. She meant the other home, yeah? But uh, at first, it was very painful for us. It still pains us because uh, we were used to her love. Mom was the bubbly type, the happy type, the kind, the kind type. And uh, the community lost such you know, a hero. And, it, and Sally, she has been doing the job for those years without being celebrated. And uh, it's upon, I, 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 okay, when she passed away, I decided that there's no way I'm going to let her legacy die with her. We have to keep her legacy alive, and that's why I'm pursuing her dream. All I need is to make the dream come true so that, you know, we can keep her name alive. And I'm hoping that uh, with your help, we can do it together. Thank you very much. So we are at Korogosha Children's Centre. We are loved all around and we appreciate being here. Thank you for being with us. Well, love all around came as a result of the love for all their around. culture. So, it is formed based on four girls. One is Vanna, Frida, Catherine and Mutanu. So we came up with this plan in order to provide the love to the country. Yeah, basically. Na talent was like wana piga kila kitu ku dance. Hadi wengine wanajaribu like kupiga acrobatics hapo kidogo. Wanapata kuna talent yao lakini wetu maybe bado yaja kwa acknowledge ya ku nje. Tena nasema wase tu wako tu dope manzi. We are here to give more to humanity so that when we need that help from humanity it may be given to us thank you we are 
are planning to visit uh, at least three or four children homes by the end of the year. Yeah, that's the plan for the year. Here, this is our first visit. But last year, we were to about three children's homes. But this year, this is our first visit. And we would really appreciate if you support us in this in our visits. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.